such an innocuous item that in the right hands can cause so much controversy for a yacht broker. So of course I'm going to show you how to use it. Now you might be wondering what in the world do I want to use a hammer for on my boat? And no, it's not stress relief. It's actually to check the structural integrity of the vessel. Fiberglass is one of the leading materials used in boat building due to its lightweight nature and durability in a marine environment. But underneath the gel coat and top layers, there can be issues you can't see, such as dry fiberglass, voids and delamination. If left undetected, these issues can result in problems like gel coat cracks or osmosis, and depending on the location, they can also cause structural weakness. For example, issues under the waterline, or around the crossbeam mounting points of a catamaran. So we've got a crack, cracking, cracking, and cracking, and that's just on this side. Potential anomalies in fiberglass can be checked with a technical device like an ultrasonic scanner, or with something much simpler. Using a small hammer like this one, it's possible to detect anomalies in the fiberglass by doing a simple tap test. It's a quick and easy way to identify potential problems beneath the surface as all you need to do is gently tap along the hull and listen for a change in the sound. A solid constant thud usually means the fiberglass is healthy and well bonded. To give you an example, this is what healthy fiberglass sounds like on a B3 series 45. Down here. And then up here. difference in sound is because up here there should be foam core and down here there's not. If you hear a hollow sound, that could indicate an area where the fiberglass has separated from the core. It might be a sign of delamination, a void or dry fiberglass, which if left unaddressed could lead to more serious issues. To give you a better idea of what that could sound like, here's a series of clips showing the difference between a potential issue and solid fiberglass on a B3 series Leopard 45. a little bit more detail I've roped Trent in who's been watching and learning from the JS Marine guys working on our boat. Check for blisters and dry glass and I mean I've just just got here and I haven't preemptively set this up and I called Talisha because this is just absurd like right here there's a clear there's a clear bubble ready oh no it's absurd, like you can push, you can push it in. I, I'm not tapping the whole hull, I'm just picking out very discrepancies well, in the You can very... see that. If I... I know, but like, this is, how does this stuff get past QC? Just uh, get down, because I can actually film that bubble. Arnie, get down. <laughs> Right 
We've got to drive off. Go side to side for me. To see obvious blister patches in the gel coat, you're best to wipe down the dirt or salt on the hull so that the light captures the discrepancies, making them much more obvious. Ready? This is how quick it is. So I've been trained to find blisters for the best part of five to 10 minutes. And I literally walked up to the boat in natural light with my blue tape and found two blisters. So it's almost back to here, almost forward to here, like it's a significant dry patch. Like there's just no excuse for it, there really isn't. Like if one person can't watch the bucket, then they need to get one person to watch the bucket and a camera on him with another person watching the dude watching the bucket. It's that simple. Bad news, Wayne. Bad news. Wayne gave me permission to do this. I believe his exact words was, there's probably nobody better to go over his boat, which I think I got on camera. Yeah, he said to me, he said, there's nobody better. He believes that he trusts more than me. So that's dry. Yeah. It's not blistered. As we come down to here, we've got a full on blister. Maybe put, maybe put tape at the other end too, so you can see the extent. See, I don't believe there's enough resin here either. The sound of it. Once they start taking this one back though. You've got a normal rebound sound. Mm. I'll just check the tape mm. regularly so I don't mark anything. And here, it starts getting more hollow. And it gets more hollow. But the hollow sound is in the actual first layer. starts getting to the centre of the problem. But I wouldn't be surprised if you had to come back out to here somewhere to get rid of all that dry glass. Maybe put tape at the other end of yeah. it too, so. So that's normal? Yeah. So really, by rights, to investigate this, you would start at the centre delamination point, mm. which you can actually visibly see, and you grind out from that in every direction until you ascertain whether it... This whole area here could be compromised by the sound of this whole section. Well, it is on ours. Almost exactly where our front dry patch is. So come and have a look at this. I've had a bit of a flu, so I don't feel like doing this, but unfortunately Wayne has to fly out this week, so he's asked if I can help him out and uh, have a quick look before he flies out which I'm happy to do. It's good to be able to trust people with your home that are gonna give you the correct, honest answer. So, obviously, it's your normal sound. So, I'll go around the tape. It's quite thick gel coats, it's quite, it's quite, uh, quite defined, the tone. Now you can hear here the fiberglass reverberating against the gel coat layer inside. It's like a secondary reverberation. And it gets worse. Down to here. Back up. Normal tone. Completely, completely delaminated. And that almost extends to here. And it gets hard again up here. There's a delaminated patch below the the tape. So the delaminated patch pro most probably goes from here, across here and across there. Want to know what hull number he is? 
that will tell you it's new. how it's far off uh, ours it was. It's just come from Pedro. discrepancy here. Yeah. I had dry glass here on my boat. justification for tap testing because people go are oh, you looking for trouble you're looking for trouble so we're not the justification for tap testing when you can see a blister from standing back this far from a boat and you can see a blister standing back this far from a boat and almost looks like there's one here Uh, you How buy a production <coughs> you buy a production boat and there's an expectation that it's not going to be it's going to be to a certain standard but I mean not resin infusing the foam and fiberglass is just unacceptable it doesn't matter what boat you buy wouldn't be acceptable on a wouldn't be acceptable on one of these behind you it's not acceptable on this if you're planning on tap testing your own hull just keep in mind that things inside of the boat can impact the sound like your bulkheads is if you're being lifted out you can then find exactly where your bulkheads are so you know where to position the straps and the stands as well. Tap testing the hull is an affordable and quick way of checking your hull for discrepancies. Now we've only personally seen it done on a production catamaran but a quick google search has led me to believe that it could be useful for almost all fiberglass boats whether you have a mono hull, catamaran or trimaran. And if you are in the process of handing over a new catamaran we would suggest that you consider tap testing as part of that. A little bit of time spent tap testing now could save you a lot of time and money down the road.